after today's video, you will be able to distinguish between type A, type E, and type D water reducing admixtures. Also, you will be able to recognize and list the benefits from using a water reducing admixture and be able to communicate with your customers about our product in a knowledgeable and informative manner. At the turn of the century, a research scientist by the name of Duff Abrams made a very important discovery. He found that when the water to cement ratio of concrete lowered, the strength of the concrete increased in direct relationship with the water reduction. As a result of Abrams' discovery, engineers soon developed high strength concrete. These high strength mix designs were difficult to place, mix, deliver, and finish. Fortunately, with the new water reducing admixtures, ready mix producers were able to add this new chemical agent and still maintain the flowable characteristics that are desired in ready mix concrete. Water is essential for cement to hydrate. However, cement only needs approximately 30% of its own weight in water for the chemical process of hydration to occur. Although this water is sufficient to hydrate the cement, it's not enough to make the concrete workable. Additional water, called water of convenience, is added to improve the concrete's qualities in order for it to be easily placed and finished. How does a water reducer work? Under normal circumstances, when water is mixed with cement, the cement particles want to clump together. The reason cement tends to ball up is because of the electromagnetic attraction between the positive and negative charged cement particles. These clumping cement particles surround and trap water, making it unavailable to the rest of the mix. A water reducing admixture causes all the cement particles to have a negative charge. As a result, instead of clinging to one another, the particles of cement will repel one another. This phenomenon is called dispersion.